Hey everybody, welcome back. So in this video, what I'm gonna show you how to do is to take your iPad and actually turn it into a secondary display for your computer and then run the Microsoft Whiteboard application on that secondary display so that you can then use that in a team meeting in order to use it as a whiteboard. So it's quite handy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, turn it into a secondary display then what we're going to do is run the whiteboard application on here. We're going to record it and uh, be able to use it with our stylus as a whiteboard in our environment. It's really handy. It may sound a little complex when I explain it at the beginning there, but if you watch each of those steps, it'll make a lot of sense and it provides a lot of uh, value because now you can just use a stylus with your secondary display running the whiteboard application and you'll be able to use that in your team meetings. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're going to need in order to make this uh, little project work for us here. So I'm going to look at the Microsoft whiteboard here. So I'm actually going to use the whiteboard as a way of showing the whiteboard. So in this case here, the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to have to install some software on our computer. And the software that we're going to install on our computer is going to be called Duet. Okay, and I'll show you where that is. Then we're going to have to install the same software onto our iPad. And we'll install some software on our iPad, and that's also the Duet software. Now we can just go ahead here and change the pen if we want, just to demonstrate that I can use. I'm actually using my iPad right now, so go in there and demonstrate this. And then the third thing we're going to do is we're going to make our iPad a second display. In my case, when you watch this video, you'll see that I'm actually using my iPad as a third display because I have my laptop display, I have my main display, which is a large screen, and then the iPad acts as a third display. So the way that my office is arranged is I have my desktop display over here, I have my laptop display over here, and I have my iPad on a stand over here. Now, in this case, I've taken the iPad and I'm, I'm actually working with it. So those are the three steps. So we're going to install the software on the computer, we're going to install the software on the iPad, and then we're going to allow the iPad to act as a second display. Then what we're going to be able to do is I'm going to start off Microsoft Whiteboard. So we're going to start off the whiteboard, and I'm going to actually drag it. So I'll start it up on my laptop, and then I'm going to drag it onto my iPad so that my iPad on its display is running the whiteboard full screen. Then what I can do is I can now start Microsoft Teams. So I'll start a Microsoft Teams session. I'll start recording the meeting. As I'm doing anything, the students, if they're looking at the screen there, any participants in the meeting, what they'll see is they'll see the screen and they'll see a video of me demonstrating or doing talking whatever I'm doing there but they'll actually see whatever I'm drawing on the screen so oh, back here so you can see that's the process okay so let's have a look so the things that I'm going to need is I'm going to need to have an iPad going to need to have a laptop going to need to have a stylus and then we'll set this all up for you so we have our iPad here and then we have a laptop that we're going to use so it'll be a primary display and a stylus Okay, let's start with the iPad and get the software on there. So on the iPad, the software that I'm going to use, I'm going to go to the App Store. So we'll just go to the App Store. And underneath the App Store here, I'm going to look for a program called Duet. And uh, that particular program, I need to install it in two places. I'm going to install it both on my iPad and I'm going to install it on my computer. So you'll see that I've already downloaded it. I believe that it's about a $13 or $14 Canadian app, so it'll be less in the States. Uh, it's converted for us. Um, and that app will allow us to use our iPad as an extra display. And so when I open up that app, you'll notice that it'll want to connect up to my computer. And I'll have to be running the software on my computer. So let's switch to the computer and install the software there. So once I have the software downloaded onto my iPad, the next place I need to download the software is onto my computer. So if I go into the website, duetdisplay.com, I can download the Windows application. This will allow me to run Duet on my computer. So I've already downloaded and installed the app. 
So with the software running on both the iPad and the computer, let's go back to the iPad. Notice that on the iPad here, it's going to automatically turn that iPad into a second display. Now what's happened here is you'll see, there we go. So now my iPad is actually a second display. So if I have a look at my iPad, this is what's what you would see on my iPad. However, it's next to my computer. I now have a display so I can scroll over to my iPad and I can, you see my mouse has come over from my computer. I've got a full display on my iPad and I'll be able to use that as a whiteboard. So to show you what this looks like on my desktop, you'll see that I have my laptop computer here with the screen. And if I go over here, I actually can come over. My mouse is now over on my iPad here, and I can use my iPad as a secondary screen. Why is this important? Well, because one of the things I can now do is go into my computer here, go into the Microsoft whiteboard, and that'll bring up the Microsoft whiteboard, which I can then just take from this screen here, and I can drag it over to my iPad. So I just drag over the application to my iPad. I can now make it full screen on my iPad. And now I have a whiteboard on my iPad. I can now go into this whiteboard and just make the screen here a little bit easier. And I can use my stylus to go in, create a new whiteboard, and choose a pen in here, and simply draw onto this whiteboard here. This is going to be very handy because now when I go into my Microsoft Teams application on my computer, I can share out this whiteboard, use my stylus, draw on here and record. Let's have a look at that right now. Okay, so now I've gone into Microsoft Teams and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new meeting in Microsoft Teams. Now, first of all, I've installed the application onto my iPad. I've installed the application onto my computer. We'll just close that window there. And if I was to go in, you'll see that underneath the display properties of my computer, I now have three displays. My laptop display, this is my secondary monitor on my desk, and this here is now my iPad acting as a monitor to my computer. If I start a new meeting, let's go start a new meeting here in Microsoft Teams. First of all, I can give it a name, demonstration of the iPad as a screen. Now what's running on that screen right now, see my smiling face, what's running on that screen right now is that third application, which is the whiteboard. So if I go in, I'll go into my meeting here and I'll start recording the meeting. So we'll see how by recording this meeting, it's actually going to capture what I put on the whiteboard. I'm going to go into sharing and I'm going to choose that Microsoft whiteboard. Not the built-in whiteboard, but the Microsoft whiteboard. And you'll notice, you can see here that it's also saying it's screen three. So anything I do on that screen will be shared. Or I can just share that one application, which also is running on that screen, which is Microsoft whiteboard. I'm now sharing that application. And if I go in to share that application, what I can do is I can choose pens on there. I can draw on there. All the standard stuff smiley faces, whatever you want to put on there. So this is being shared out. And on my iPad, what's happened is you can see that um, everything that I'm writing here is being recorded. You'll see that. And if I go in to the call itself, uh, it's a little difficult to see through my webcam, but you can see that I've got my iPad on here. And as I write on my iPad, you're also, that's being recorded as well. So the entire meeting's being recorded and everything I do on my iPad is being recorded as well. This is acting as a third screen. So now I'm gonna close the meeting. Well, before I close the meeting, I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. So now I've stopped recording, and I'm gonna hang up. Okay. So now it'll go ahead and process that meeting. So I'll say that the quality was fine. Let's get some feedback there. And now that recording is going to be processed by Microsoft. It's a very short recording, so it won't take very long for them to process it. But now that meeting, including the sharing of that whiteboard, is all available to my students. Okay, so now that I finished the meeting, I paused the recording there for a moment, but you'll notice that the recording of that meeting is now in the team site itself. 
So let's have a look and see what the students will see if they look at that recording. So again, it gives you the name of the meeting. I'm going to go into sharing, and I'm going to choose that Microsoft whiteboard, not the built-in. So this is the actual recording. So talking over my own voice. You can see here that it's also saying screen three. So anything I do on that screen will be shared, or I can just share that one application, which also is running on that screen. Which is my so just a repeat of what I said. So there you go. So the students will actually see the whiteboard that you created. I'm just going to mute myself there. So I'm muting my main screen. Hopefully it still works on my other. Yeah. So you can see here that everything I, I did and everything I talked about is there. So you can see the, the whiteboard gets recorded and that becomes part of the artifact of the meeting. So when you record the meeting, you record the whiteboard. This whiteboard is off of my iPad. So I hope that was useful for you. Let me know if you have any questions and you can see that the iPad makes a very handy whiteboard, especially if you have an iPad Pro with a pencil, you can utilize that as your whiteboard.